The Ford government recently announced its support of an NDP bill to declare intimate partner violence an epidemic in Ontario, an issue that disproportionately affects women. A Toronto woman says her own experiences with domestic violence not only inspired her to learn self-defense, but now she's put together a specialized course for other women to do the same. I was put into a headlock, I was punched in the face, and I remember thinking if I knew how to get out of this headlock, then what? But I didn't, and it was a feeling of extreme powerlessness, and essentially I just had to accept that violence. Nikki Saltz, the founder of Civilian Self-Defense, says since then she's trained in a number of different martial arts, but almost always in spaces geared towards and dominated by men. There's the issue of dealing with violence as a civilian no matter who you are, but then there's the issue of dealing with violence as a woman, and it's different because we're smaller, we are socialized differently to be more polite and soft-spoken. For women who do speak out when there has been violence or they do experience things, they also have to worry about who's going to believe them. And so if you have a training environment where you're surrounded by women, all of those obstacles go out the window. With that in mind, she developed a course called Tough Targets for girls and women aged 10 and up to begin training in mixed martial arts. So we start with very basic self-defense um, when someone's going to approach you and how to get away. We don't want to have to engage with people ever if they do want to inflict violence on us, right? So the more we're engaging, is the more we're giving them opportunity. Face good. Now that his feet are there, you're going to grab his ankles and you're going to kick and pull. There we go. Get up and engage. If they're going to engage with us, we have to engage as well, but to the point where we can create a safe space and get out and not get harmed, right? We don't want to continue to start fighting with this person on the ground if we don't need to, right? And you're going to bump and roll towards me. <laughs> We're teaching like a little bit of footwork too in terms of like, you know, somebody's rushing at you, let's steer out of the way, you know, or if you can't, how to like use your hands to parry somebody like trying to grab you. The course also runs through familiar situations that women might find themselves in. You see a lot of nodding of heads when the coaches start saying, okay, now we're going to deal with this scenario. This is what happens if somebody tries to push you. This is what happens if somebody tries to grab your hair. Along with self-defense, SALT says they want to create a safe space for women to share, learn, and gain strength, both physically and mentally. There's a psychological component as well, whether it has to do with elevating your confidence, re-socializing yourself as a woman to be more comfortable with aggression, because the desire to feel safe is so strong. Yeah, step out, step leg, there you go, disengage. Dilshad Berman, City News.